I've always been interested in art. Um, in fact, I even had some film photography courses when I was in high school. Um, it was very short. We had uh, just point and shoot cameras, um, so you couldn't adjust the settings. And then we went in the dark room, and and uh, the fact that I I didn't have very much control over it, I just never got into photography at that point. Um, I graduated uh, high school in 2002. Um, that was the peak of film photography. Um, and at that time, digital started to take over, but digital was extremely expensive at the time. And I always kind of wanted a, a camera. It was just out of my price range. Um, you know, life kind of happened. Art kind of started to go wayside. And you, you know, you're working a full-time job, and, and so you don't have that much time for extracurriculars. And, and uh, it, it got to the point where I, I wanted to add art back in my life. And, and uh, I just made the decision one Christmas to buy an affordable digital camera, uh, went to Walmart like a lot of people do, um, you know, bought what you can afford, and it kind of took over from there. Um, the more I learned, the more I wanted to learn, and uh, I just kind of threw myself into photography at that point. Um, and then I ended up uh, getting a couple of gallery shows and, uh, you know, different places to hang up my artwork, and it just kind of grew from there. Um, and then over the course of uh, four years, I just kind of honed my craft. Um, and now this year, I am a full-time photographer um, and then work part-time just for extra income. Um, and a year ago, I... Uh, I had started getting into film photography. I had found some street photographers and I really enjoyed their work. Um, so the more I started looking at their work, the more I wanted to go from landscape into street photography. Um, the one thing that differed from my work to theirs especially was they were using film and I was using digital. Um, so it, it kind of implanted a little deal in my brain that I wanted to work with the same equipment that they were working with. Um, it's pretty hard to compare, you know, where you were at compared to, you know, these masterworks and stuff like that um, until you work with some of the similar tools that they worked with. Um, and then you gain a whole new appreciation for photography, what photography was, the amount of work that went into one single photograph compared to the digital world now where, you know, you click a button and you've got instant results. Um, so I like that slow down approach, um, you know, coming from starting off as being a landscape photographer, um, which is a slower approach. Um, I got, with the street photography, I got the fast pace of it, but then on the film side, you know, I could slow down. Um, I started uh, learning how to develop all my black and white and color um, at home. Um, in Northwest Iowa, there's not too many places where you can go and develop film. Um, so my commute to do that was uh, drive down to Des Moines. Um, so you had to drive down, drop off film, go back a week later, pick up film. Um, so you had the added expense and the time. So that just pushed me into the, the developing on my own. Um, you know, it jumped in like a lot of people People do at 35 millimeter, then you work into medium format, and before long you're shooting 4x5 negatives, and uh, you know the next thing's probably you know uh, 8x10 or, or something like that. But the cost of film will probably keep me from 8x10s and and stuff like that. But uh, I really enjoy the look of film, the process of film. Um, I feel it becomes you know from an art background for me it gets me more involved in the end process and not a computer. I've got three pieces. Um, all three pieces were taken in uh, Buena Vista County, about five miles from my house. Um, I have traveled um, quite a bit to take pictures. Um, so it's kind of nice that, you know, for this show, these images were local images, um, just like the title of the show. It was just going out like I normally do, and and you know it's my evening, what I do for fun. All three of the images um, were captured on film. Um, two of them were captured on 35 millimeter. Um, one was captured on 120 uh, medium format film. Um, all captured on black and white. Um, 
the way I process the images um, through chemicals and pushing and pulling process, um, I'm able to manipulate the film a little bit more and give it that textured look that you just can't achieve in digital no matter how hard you try. To me, the grain of the film is part of the beauty of using the film, so I wanted to be able to bring that forward so when you're looking at the pieces, you get that texture. It's more than just an image. You get a feel to the image. First and foremost, just get started. Um, you know, look at uh, uh, what other photographers are doing, um, maybe their approach to it. Um, really concentrate on light instead of subject. Um, you'll start seeing the world in a whole different way when you when you look that way. Um, the light in a photograph to me is is you know even more rewarding than any subject you're going to capture. Um, so it, it just adds more depth to it. Um, but yeah, the main thing is just get started. Uh, the equipment don't matter. Um, two of these pictures here were captured on a fifty dollar film camera. So you don't need high dollar equipment to make you know class work. So come out and see the exhibit, support local artists and, and local art galleries.